Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person is thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So, Okay, so if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see. Spirit. How does this person feel about Virgo? Okay, right away we have the Page of Wands. We also have the Page of Pentacles. So you definitely could be dealing with someone who's younger than you here. Um, Virgo, they're very curious about you. I feel like they want to learn more about you. And we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a strong um, chemistry between the two of you as well. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of flirting going on with this person. I feel like they um, give you a lot of compliments. I feel like they let you know that they're very physically attracted to you. But with this Page of Pentacles, I feel like this person is also interested in, in building this and seeing where this could go. Um, but pages are students of the deck, right? Like they're, they're open to learning. So I feel like this person, um, yeah, there's definitely a curiosity. Like you intrigue them a little bit here, Virgo. They, they want to know about you. Um, but I have to be honest, like I'm... I'm picking up more, it, it feels more casual. It doesn't feel like this person's looking to get married or something like that. I mean, it could, there's potential for that to lead into that. Um, but it feels like this person is, I just heard captivated, <laughs> very captivated by you. So they might even compliment something about your outfit or your look. Um, physically, they find you very, very attractive. So this person is definitely trying to get to know you, definitely wanting to, um, you know, hook up, but I feel I'm not picking up like that this person is looking for something long term. Um, that obviously that could change with, you know, their intentions. And then maybe um, like when I pick up their intentions and then the potential outcome, but it just feels like how they feel when they initially meet you or they initially see you is like, they're just kind of like, oh, like Virgo's really good looking. Virgo's cute. Like, let me go tell them how cute I think they are. And like, let's see where this could go. Um, that's, that's kind of how it feels. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Virgo? Okay. So we do have the chariot could be dealing with a cancer. Like this person could, um, this is very specific, but could ask you to go on a date where it requires them to drive somewhere. Um, and then we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so I just be careful, Virgo, because it almost feels like this person might say something along the lines of, you know, yeah, I'm looking for a commitment too, but it doesn't feel genuine. It feels like maybe they feel like that's what you want to hear. Um, they're definitely moving towards you here, but tell me more about that Seven of Swords. Thank you. Yeah, we have the devil, Capricorn energy, and we have the queen of cups. Yeah, please be very careful, um, Virgo. And I'm saying that because I feel like this energy right here with the devil right in the middle, I, I feel like if you're a very loving, very caring person, which it feels like you are, um, I feel like this person is really good at, I have to be honest with you, like manipulating emotions. So saying things that they think you want to hear. Like I said, if it has to do with like commitment, um, you know, kind of playing with your emotions a little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm saying a little bit, but I, it feels like a lot. I have to be honest with you. I'm not really liking this energy. Um, it feels like they know exactly what to say and how to say it. It feels like um, 
This person likes when people chase them. And here's the thing, when I read these kinds of energies, Virgo, I don't necessarily like it, but I uh, try to stay neutral, right? Because I'm just reading the energy and I just want to give you the message so you can just decide what to do with it. But I, I, I do want to say that Spirit's really encouraging me to kind of warn you a little bit. I have to be honest. Um, so just be aware of that because it feels like this person knows that, for instance, I feel like they could tell you like a very sad story about themselves or their upbringing or something like that to kind of make you feel bad for them. And then that, and then that's kind of like their hook. It feels like, um, when I'm looking at this devil card. So just be aware of that. Like, I feel like this person had, like, they know how to do this. They know how to, uh, say the right things to get people to, to kind of feel bad for them. And then the, yeah, it just, it feels very manipulative. Um, so Capricorn Taurus cancer energy here. So just be aware of that. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I feel like this person's going to come towards you here. They're going to say things like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a commitment too. Um, I want something long-term. And when in reality, like I said, it feels like they're just interested in the physical. Um, they're definitely curious about you, but it, it, it doesn't feel like they're looking for long-term and that's exactly what's coming through here right? Um, anything else about their actions? The King of Swords. Yeah. It's just, it's someone who's going to act like detached, like aloof here, right? Like very kind of cold. Um, it's like, as soon as they show interest and they know you're interested back, that's kind of when they pull back. Right. Um, but they could have said all these like wonderful things to you so far where that made you interested. Right. So this person knows what they're doing. So just be aware because this person is very, I feel like they're very sneaky. I feel like they're deceptive. Um, and I feel like they've done this before. So like, I really do not like this combination here. <laughs> um, yeah, it just, it feels like they take advantage of um, nice, caring people, right? And, and we have to remember that people's actions are a projection of like what's going on inside of them. Um, but either way, it's just, it's kind of like a heads up from spirit, right? When these kinds of messages come through. So, so just be aware of that. They're already asking me to go to the other deck. So I will. Usually that means that there's cards on the board that need to come out again. Well, that's strange. We have the emperor and the high priestess trying to come out there, but we'll see. Um, what is this person's intentions with Virgo? We have the knight of swords. We have the wheel of fortune. They definitely want to rush in here towards you. Like I said, they're very curious about you. We have the King of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to shower you. Like, I feel like they're going to give you attention. They're going to um, put in effort. Like, they're, they're going to let you know. Like I said, that they're very attracted to you. They're very charming. I feel lots of masculine energy coming through. Um, doesn't mean they have to be a male. It just feels like this person... It, Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Again, it just feels like they know exactly what to say and do. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Like, they might even say things like, I have the lovers and the hermit that flipped over there. Um, it feels like this person is very drawn to you, but I have to say, like, the only cups that are on the board is that queen, and that feels like you. This feels like you are this, like, loving, understanding, empathetic person. Like, this person has a lot of attraction towards you. They might want to move things along like quite quickly here. And like I said, give you a lot of attention, say all the right things, maybe even buy you gifts to like move that along and make you feel like this is going somewhere. Um, but this feels like a cycle that this person does, right? It feels like, um, Virgo, I really don't like this, but it feels like it's almost like they have like a, a routine when they do this, they say the same kinds of things to people. They use the same kind of lines. They say, they give the same stories. They say, they give the same compliments. Like it just feels like a pattern here. Um, so yeah, they want to move things along fairly quickly here with you. Just, yeah. So expect a lot of attention from this person. What's the potential outcome? We have the seven of cups and the moon. So uh, feeling overwhelmed, but also feeling very confused. You could feel like this person keeps a lot. To them. There's very, there's very much you don't know about this person, right? But the seven of cups can also indicate other people being involved, options, 
right? Keeping options open. So like I said, I feel like this person will tell you things like, I want this higher level of commitment, but that's not the truth, right? They're saying it to get what they want, um, which I have to tell you, I feel like is something physical here. Anything else about the potential outcome? We have the sun, we have the hanged man, we have the four of pentacles, we have the knight of pentacles. Interesting. I feel like... I feel like by you deciding to put the brakes on and saying, wait a second, we're not going to go super fast and we're not going to, you know, just rush into this. I feel like that you holding yourself back and kind of like, like taking, like, not that it's stagnant, but just not rushing in with this person. Cause like I said, I feel like they do this. You gain a lot of clarity and I feel like you see this person's, I mean, maybe even by watching this, video you might have gained some insight as well maybe you had an inkling that this person was kind of doing this anyway but there's just a, i feel like this is you just being like i knew it okay clarity i can see so clearly what's going on here it could be a leo um or a taurus virgo capricorn uh again we have cancer as well and then lots of fire aries leo sag um and we have some pisces here too but it just feels like this is you gaining clarity by not like you have three cards here like taking it slow holding back like kind of like seeing things from a different perspective here, like, you know, standing still and really all taking it in because this person wants to rush it, right? This person wants, there's a lot of communication coming in and there's a lot of fast, this person wants to move things along fast, right? This is their intentions. But I feel like you are kind of like, you can just see things so clearly by taking that step back is what it feels like. Um, tell me about the seven of cups because yeah, this person is confusing. We have death, could be a Scorpio. We have the two of cups. It's interesting because, and then we have the queen of cups. That's your energy again. I feel like this is you, even though you're very drawn to this person, because this is the two of cups energy, or sorry, my soulmate energy, there, there's an ending here. And I feel like you you can see it clearly, right? Like I feel like you, um, you might've been down this road before where someone you know, shows all this interest, wants to move things really fast, and then it turns out they're not who they say they are. And I feel like you um this person like soulmates are meant to teach us deep lessons right um even if we feel like we fully learned that lesson before it's almost like sometimes the universe like puts us to the test and is like okay did you really learn from that right because here's another uh energy that could present in the same way here i feel like this is you choosing you like there's transformation here where you're like i'm not going to stop being me i'm not going to stop being this queen of cups energy um where you know, I'm loving myself. I love others deeply. Like I, when I give, I give my all, but I'm not going to do it for just anyone. Right. Like, I feel like this is you being like, I'm choosing me and I'm not going to let this person do what they, what they clearly do all the time. That's how it feels. Um, so this is, you know, this is, a, I feel like a huge lesson of like self-love and like boundaries here. Um, you choosing yourself, which you might be sitting there Virgo and saying, I already do that right? But I feel like this person's going to come along and it's going to come out of nowhere here. It's going to be new. And the universe is like, okay, you know what? Virgo's come so far. Virgo knows a lot about themselves. They've learned so much self-love. This person's going to come along almost like a, like a test, right? They're going to say all the right things. They're going to make them feel a certain way, but there's going to be those red flags, right? Because this person wants to rush and they're saying, it, it almost feels like there's like everything they're saying is like textbook, that's how it feels. Um, yeah. How will uh, how will Virgo know who this is? The Ace of Wands again. A again, someone who's very physical, right? They're going to make it known right away that they want a physical connection here with you. Um, they're very flirtatious. They're very, they're, they have a lot of sexual energy about them. Um, they could be very touchy, like touchy-feely when you meet them. Um, lots of passion here you're going to feel that chemistry too it's not that you're not attracted to them too um but they just yeah they might even like make a lot of jokes about, look at that the lovers and the hermit came out again could be a gemini or a virgo right it's someone there's a deep bond here there's a deep connection here right like i have to say like it's not like but the lovers used to also be called the choice so i feel like this is someone who chooses, you know, their independence, their solitude, but they like, you know, and this might just be someone who just doesn't want the commitment 
And I feel like Virgo, you'd be the type where you're like, okay, if you don't want that commitment and you just want, you know, something physical, just say that. And maybe we could work something out. But instead, this person takes the route of like saying what they think you want to hear, which is what I feel like you're like, mm, that's not what I'm here. Like, I'm not going to put up with that. Right. So there's definitely a deep bond here. Um, but I do feel like this person really likes their independence. Right. They like being by themselves. They don't like being in a commitment. And they think that that's what you want to hear in order for the two of you to kind of have this physical connection. Because sometimes we could meet people and there's, you know, there's those connections where it can be just physical. Sometimes that can happen between two people. Right. But this person isn't being honest about that. So, yeah, but there's definitely a strong bond between the two of you here. But this person will, I feel like, always choose them, their solitude themselves. Like they just they don't want commitment, even though they might say that they do. <clears throat> so uh any advice for virgo any advice i feel like the queen of cups is already out like that's you loving you but yeah i feel like um knight of cups it's like and the chariot interesting i just feel like it's it's coming down to like like self-love here yeah if you want to have fun have fun right there's nothing wrong with that but just be aware that i feel like um choose your direction that you want to take this because i feel like your boundaries and your needs are very important and this person's kind of just operating from the space of like they know exactly what they want right so if you want the same thing go for it but if you're looking for for a commitment here i don't feel like that per this person wants that um so yeah, have fun, flirt if you want. You can, you, you know, do whatever feels good for you. Let this person, you know, date you if that's what they say they want to do. But just know that I, it feels like this person uh, wants to keep their options open. Um, and they kind of say exactly what they feel needs to be said. And it works. They're very charming. They're very, very charming. Um, yeah. And I can't help but notice, Virgo, even while I'm giving you this reading and I'm doing this, I feel like, I feel very calm. Like, I feel like you're very calm about the situation. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of drama with it. You're just like, okay, I can clearly see what you're doing here. So, you know, but, but there's no communication on the board. There's just like a lot of passion here, right? Um, there's no deep emotion here. I, so I feel like you're, you're like, I can see what this is. I just don't know why this person chooses to say it's one thing when it's not, right? Um, so you've come a long way here, Virgo. I feel like your energy is very grounded, um, I will say. We have paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. So, I mean, I feel like the two of you do enjoy each other a lot. Um, we have sword and rose, clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. Listen, this might just be a connection where you're just like, maybe it's just physical, right? Like that's okay too. But I just don't like this like seven of swords, devil, queen of, queen of cups energy. That feels like very manipulative. Like this person is uh, saying and doing things purposely to like achieve a goal, you know, like it, that's, I don't like that. Um, we have healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationships. So um, if you could be healing this, per I mean, we're all kind of healing, right? This person we have talking, interested, awaiting messages, text, calls, email, talking more. So definitely a lot of conversation between the two of you. And then we have camera, reminiscing, making memories, learn from the past, perception. So like I said, you've definitely learned a lot um, and you're applying it. Your self-love is just like through the roof. Even if that means like, you know, drinking your favorite cup of tea and taking that five minutes out of the day to just enjoy it, right? Like that's a form of self-love. Like let me just do, and I feel like you just exude that. Like you very much... Um, just exude this energy of like, you just love yourself, right? But I feel like um, if your needs are not being met, I feel like th then this person has come along to kind of maybe help you implement that in, in a different way. Um, so uh, look at that. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So like I'm saying, like there's, there's something deeper to be learned here, right? And maybe this has already happened for you with this person. Um, we have, I cannot be vulnerable with you. I'd rather hide in the darkness before I let you see inside of me. So again, this is not someone who opens up. They don't talk about their emotions. We have so many things remind me of you. So for those of you who maybe feel like this is an energy you've already connected with, um, 
yeah, this person, there's a lot of things that remind them of you. We have, my mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this person says things because they think it's what you want to hear. Um, I'm afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. So this person could just feel like you don't feel the same. But then I also have, I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. So I feel like this, per and then I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel like this person knows exactly what they're doing, Virgo. They're, they're very, they're very cunning with that seven of swords, right? They know exactly what they're doing. We have the sun again, enjoy success and happiness. That's what I'm saying, Virgo. I just feel like you are just shining. You are just loving yourself. You're doing great. You can see things clearly. You're like, okay, this is, you know, and it's not that this, it's not that this is fun to kind of, you know, uh, engage with this type of energy, right? Clearly there's like more healing to do. Again, I feel like we're all on a healing journey in some capacity, but just the fact that you have so much clarity and you can see things so clearly, I feel like you're just, you just love yourself. You just like, <laughs> like enjoy yourself enjoy your life like you're like this isn't gonna break me you know what I mean like you're just very like I said there's just such a calm grounded energy about you so yeah enjoy success and happiness because it's all yours um we do have romance so I'm telling you like this there's there is romantic attraction here we have yes with an exclamation mark um cool and then we have no need to worry right so it's like you're good. This is what I'm saying. I just feel like Virgo. I don't know how else to say it. And if you don't feel good, because this energy has come in and you're like, I don't feel good about what they did and how they were treating me, what have you. I feel like you're going to have like an aha moment where it just kind of all clicks. Um, and like I said, maybe you've already had it, but if not, I just feel like you're, there's just this, it just feels warm. It feels calm. It feels grounded. It feels good. Um, we have, you're very close to achieving your goal. I, it's obviously you wouldn't know because you can't see my face, but I wasn't looking at this card while I was saying all that before. Like, you're going to get there, right? Like if you have, you're going to have this aha moment. I was kind of like looking off in, into space, which is what I do when I read. Um, but you're very close to achieving your goal, right? Like even spirits, uh, you know, confirming that with these cards getting, coming out, we have, it's time to release negativity. Scorpio energy and then we have don't do we also have don't let pride get in your way which is Leo energy um so yeah like I feel like what that is is and then we have thinker number 44 um you know it can be hard when we're in situations and uh our ego can get hurt right but remember people's actions are a projection of what's going on with them not about what's going on with you right? And you love yourself so much. Like, it's just, it's actually like quite inspiring. Um, we have, you might be suffering from analysis paralysis. Thinking has its place, but trying to figure everything out logically is not going to work right now. Your conclusions will likely be faulty and you might, you may act upon false assumptions that will get you in a jam. Give your mind a rest, do something creative, exercise or meditate. Soon you'll come to your senses <laughs> Wow, I just got so many chills. Thank you, Spirit. Soon you will come to your senses and an aha moment will bring new clarity. I just want to show you that it says this, your aha moment, Virgo, because that's exactly what I was getting here. I just feel like there's just a sense of clarity that you get. So if it's um, your aha moment will bring new clarity. Thank you so much, Spirit. I just feel like um, those confirmations are so powerful for me as a, as a reader to give you these messages. So thank you, Spirit. Um, you're, yeah, you're just, you're, you're good, Virgo. You're good. Um, I'm sending you so much love and light, right? Because like I said, these energies are not the best to deal with, but you've come so far and I feel like you handle yourself so well and you carry yourself so well, um, that it pays off in a lot of ways here. So, um, these could be initials of you or this person, um, take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate with you though, it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading. So we have B, we have A, we have N, E, S, I, and O. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Virgo. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. 
please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending you so much love and light.